Hello mates, what's cranking? Hard life being a superhero nowadays, trying to fly around and all sky is full of planes. I'm afraid the sunlight will blind me someday and I'll crush into one. How to know if my patch of the sky is free or where the planes are exactly? How about knowing but also earning for it? Well, introducing Wingbits, a Japan project aiming to monitor the sky for planes and monetize the process. Quoting the Hub.io, Wingbits, based in Stockholm, is an innovative startup revolutionizing flight tracking with blockchain technology. Funded initially by Antler in November, then also by Borderless Capital in December, our commission is to globally aggregate flight data to develop advanced models. Like delay prediction algorithms, this aims to bring a proactive edge to the traditionally reactive aviation sector. In 2022, flight delays cost the aviation industry a staggering $75 billion, not to mention the environmental toll and wingbits. We envision a world free of unexpected flight delays. From a business standpoint, we hit the ground running with revenue generation from our first month and have maintained an impressive organic growth rate of over 200% month over month since September 2023. With a comfortable runway ahead, we're gearing up for our next investment round in the first half of 2024. This will enable us to scale rapidly, expanding our team across development, commercial, marketing, and community management domains, join us at Wingbits, where we're not just tracking flights, we're setting new standards in aviation efficiency and predictability, end quote. Okay, all good and shining, where to install Wingbits on and how? I thought about our crank gateways, there is a guide how to install on Raspberry Pis but I prefer Docker containers so we can monitor them on Crank's local dashboard. There are also whispers that later on Crank's dashboard will manage all other multi-mining projects that we have installed on our gateways, one-click solutions offered by the Crank team for free, like Crank operating systems that are also free. I'll be using a minted gold Raspberry Pi for base gateway. Any gateway you'd be using needs a and USB port to attach the ADSB dongle to it. The dongle is a radar box ADSB flight stick which can be found at around 50 bucks. The antenna that I'm using is a DDBI 1090 megahertz that I'm not actually recommending. Waiting for a better antenna to arrive. I won't show how to access the USB ports nor where to purchase the needed parts nor which parts are better or recommended. There is a lot of content regarding this on YouTube alone. The purpose of this video is to show how to install Wingbits on crank gateways using Docker containers. First, go to wingbits.com and sign up if you don't have an account yet. I've used Google Maps for accurate longitude and latitude. There are more ways to do it, of course. Try to get the location of the antenna as accurate as possible. Don't miss that little minus in front if you are in the Northern Hemisphere.
We have six hours to set up the wing bits antenna. Next, we'll need to connect to our gateways using SSH. Secure shell, I've connected to mine remotely taking advantage of tail scale being installed on all my gateways, link how to in the description. We'll need to install Docker Compose Plugin. Wingbits works using three containers. A simple Docker pull installation will not work. We'll need the Wingbit specific container plus the visual map one plus the graphs one all working together. Creating the Wingbits directory. Sick is part of the crank team. He is in charge with creating or finding Docker containers for the purpose of multi-mining or multi-earning using crank gateways. Without him this video maybe wouldn't be possible, so a huge shout out to him. Thank you mate for letting me share your work with the community. As I was saying earlier, Crank will offer later on one-click solutions for all other projects we can use on our gateways allowing us to earn more crypto on the same setup and sick as the master containerizer. The Docker Dominator, he is the one in charge to do it. I'll leave all command lines in the description in chronological order. Use the arrows of your keypad to navigate the configuration file. Looks like you lost another one. Be sure to add your own time zone. I've changed the port from 8080 to 8079 because 8080 is a port that lots of projects use and I don't want no conflicts in my setup, especially when multi-mining. Now all should be working. Port 8078 to see the map, your location and the planes flying around so if you also fly like I do to know which patch of the sky is free.
Port 8079 shows the same data on another interface from flight aware. Make sure the part 8078 doesn't get deleted like it happened to me. Insert it manually to access the graphs page. After maybe half an hour and refreshing the Wingbits page, the spot should appear as claimed. Well. That's it mates, I hope you enjoyed the content and hated my irritating voice, creating some bipolar feelings regarding me. Let's spin a bit faster, I know you like it. Crank on!